Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can tell by the title, we are going to be doing sourdough starter cinnamon rolls. I made these last weekend, and I'm so excited to show you guys this recipe and teach you guys how I did it because they were so good. I cannot wait to make these more because they were just so good. Like, it tasted like you're sitting in like a fancy bakery somewhere in Europe. And yeah, if you want to be eating European cinnamon rolls in your house, then definitely keep watching. For this recipe, you will need a sourdough starter. So if you don't know what that is, I will link some resources down below for you guys to get started. But that does take about a week to 10 days to ferment and to get your sourdough starter ready to bake. So just keep that in mind. This recipe does call for sourdough starter. So before we get started, make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you want more sourdough starter recipes. And make sure to follow me on Instagram because I post a lot more on there. I posted the whole process of my sourdough starter over there. And yeah, I have just been loving all things sourdough starter lately. It's been such a big trend during quarantine quarantine and I can't believe I'm just finally doing it because you can make so many different things with sourdough starter like blueberry muffins, breads obviously, English muffins, bagels. I made pizza dough the other night and it was so good. Definitely if you guys are bakers and you like to bake and be in the kitchen, definitely look into sourdough starters because it's a really fun thing to do during quarantine and sourdough bread is actually much healthier for your body to digest and it just tastes really good. So without further ado, let's get into this cinnamon roll recipe. So I found this recipe on Pinterest. It's from the blog Little Spoon Farm. She has a ton of sourdough starter recipes, so definitely go check her out. So to start, you're going to need your sourdough starter mixing bowls, a cast iron skillet, and a cheese grater. This recipe is a two day process. So you're gonna to wanna to start the night before you want to make your cinnamon rolls, and this is when you're gonna start prepping the dough. So you're gonna to wanna to mix the dough 12 hours before you plan to bake. You're gonna use a cheese grater to grate eight tablespoons of cold butter into a bowl. going to want to add your flour, which is two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. And then her recipe says to use a bench scraper to mix the flour and butter together, but I didn't have one of these, so I just used a knife and kind of chopped the butter into the flour. So I just used a knife to kind of chop the butter into the flour and I used that until it was all mixed together nicely. And then I finished just using my hands, making sure everything was mixed together. My hands were washed, of course. Then you're gonna add one half of a cup of your sourdough starter into that mixture and you're gonna mix all of that together. I started with a wooden spoon and then finished with my hands because the dough gets really firm and hard to mix together, so it's just easier to finish with your hands in my opinion. Then you're gonna add your milk, which is one cup of buttermilk, but this recipe says you can also use any kind of milk, so I used our dairy-free milk from Fairlife and this is our favorite milk, and since Jacob's dairy-free, it works out perfectly, and the recipe in the end turned out great, so you can just use whatever milk you prefer. Then you're gonna add your two tablespoons of honey and and if you don't have honey, you can use granulated sugar, but I had honey, so I used that. Then again, you're gonna mix all this together with a spatula, and then again, I also finished with mixing with my hands. And then that's all you do the night before. So you're gonna cover the bowl up and put it to the side on your counter and let it rise overnight. This recipe also says in all caps, do not add the salt, baking soda, or baking powder the night before. That will completely mess up your recipe. So you're gonna add those the next day. And then after the 12 hours and the next morning when you want to make the cinnamon rolls, you're going to preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit and you're going to want to butter your cast iron skillet. So now in a separate bowl, you're gonna start making your filling that's gonna go inside the cinnamon rolls and you're gonna mix together 3 fourths a cup of brown sugar and two teaspoons of ground cinnamon. And you're gonna mix this together until it's all mixed together and then set it aside. Mm -hmm. 
Now in another separate bowl, you're going to add 3 fourths a teaspoon of sea salt, one teaspoon baking powder, and one half teaspoon of baking soda. And this is gonna be added into your dough in a minute. And then you're going to sprinkle it on top of your dough that has risen overnight. And then you're gonna mix it in together with your hands. Now her recipe does say to use your hands, so that's what I did. And now you're gonna get your workspace all ready to roll out the dough. So you're gonna to wanna to put flour down on your surface and make sure there's plenty of flour. Get out your rolling pin. I like to put flour on my rolling pin too because I find that the dough kind of sticks to the rolling pin as well. And now you're gonna roll out your dough. So you're gonna to wanna to roll it out until it's a nice rectangle shape. Her recipe says to do 12 inches by 22 inches. I just kind of played it by ear and just rolled it out until I felt like it was a good rectangle shape. Then after it's all rolled out, you're gonna use a pastry brush. I just used a fork to coat the top of the dough with melted butter. And it says to use four tablespoons of butter. And now you're gonna sprinkle your cinnamon sugar mixture onto the dough and spread it out evenly. You wanna make sure there's no clumps in your cinnamon sugar and that you leave some edges around the dough so it doesn't spill out when you roll your dough up. And now you're gonna roll your dough. So you're gonna wanna take the long side and roll it towards you until it's like a long caterpillar-like thing. Now her recipe says to use a bench scraper to cut up the dough, but I just used a really sharp knife and it worked perfectly. So you're gonna wanna cut up the caterpillar or log into a bunch of little cinnamon rolls. And then you're going to place them in your skillet, leaving a little bit of room in between, but making sure they all fit. And now you're gonna put your cinnamon rolls in the oven for about 30 to 40 minutes. Mine took 30 minutes even, so they were done and golden at 30 minutes, but depending on where you live or your oven temperature, it might be different. And then while your cinnamon rolls are cooking, you're going to wanna make your frosting, which is one cup of powdered sugar and two tablespoons of milk. Then once your cinnamon rolls are done, you're gonna pull them out of the oven and you're gonna to wanna to frost them pretty soon after they're done so that the frosting melts nicely onto the cinnamon rolls. and then you can serve them and eat them. These cinnamon rolls came out of the oven seriously smelling so good. Our house smelt amazing. So we were so excited to eat them. 
They were some of the best cinnamon rolls I have ever had and definitely the best ones I have ever made. And it honestly wasn't that hard of a recipe to follow. So I can definitely see myself doing this kind of once a month on the weekends. And yeah, it was really fun. So let me know if you guys try out this recipe. I'd love to see your pictures. You can tag me on Instagram or send a DM to me. I'd love to see them. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe style video. I definitely wanna do more since I'm getting more into sourdough starter and doing more recipes with them. So let me know if you do wanna see more recipes with a sourdough starter, or if you wanna see a video on how I did my sourdough starter. I hope you guys are staying safe and I hope you guys have a great weekend. Make sure to subscribe if you aren't already and I will see you guys next week. Bye.